Hello everyone, I'm Nikki Star. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're doing a little speed build kind of thing. So when I first sat down to try and build something on this day, I was thinking about doing like a nice little cozy cottage. Um, and it's kind of evolved a little into something else. So I'll, I'll talk you through that as we get there. Um, so for this first bit, just trying to get together the the main structure um, and fighting a little bit with the roofing as is normal for me um, I wanted like a little bit cut into the roof and it's not something that I've done very often so it did take me a little bit of playing around I've cut some of it because I did this about four or five times to try and get the kind of shape and pattern that I wanted but trying to give us that kind of rounded roof feel of sort of a cottagey kind of feel I hope you're all doing very very well um, I know that for a lot of countries the the craziness of the last couple of years is starting to come a little bit to a close so I hope you're all keeping well and managing to start to feel a little bit more like normal might be possible now I think it'll be good for us all so I just made a little porch area in the front um, I kind of had this uh, this vision of kind of the whole thing aside from this vision of like a little cottage with a front porch and the kind of sort of rocking chairs and seating area out the front I thought that'd be really lovely I once again start playing with the roof <laughs> and immediately regret it trying to play around with it all but again I've cut a lot of my fighting with it and um, so just putting up some nice pillars and then the windows so I wanted to go kind of subtle with the windows but quite a few of them upstairs um i did a lot less downstairs i don't think i did, did maybe two or three downstairs in the end um i kind of wanted the inside to be kind of cozy and dark so i've gone for like smaller windows and a lot of my builds i go for big windows to let in a lot of light but this felt like it needed to kind of feel a little bit more enclosed inside so that's why i've gone for some smaller ones Try and go for something on the outside, try and make it look like it's wood. So as this kind of evolved in my head, it became more and more like it was handcrafted, like someone had actually built this. Um, I don't know why I built it where I built it, because it seems quite built up around. So what I'm imagining is this was built ages ago, and that other stuff that's kind of come around has kind of built up around this house. So I jump around a lot in my building. Um, <laughs> I'm assuming this is something that if you've watched any of my other speed builds you'll know I very rarely stick to a particular area uh, I move around a lot so I'm just putting down some sort of landscaping um, I wanted it to look like sort of the, there was a lot of fauna around um, and this is also where it starts to potentially <laughs> change the kind of narrative of this build so it's died in my head of just like someone had maybe handcrafted their kind of dream house in this area um, and maybe the, the council had been building up around it and they didn't want to let go of that perfect house um, the more I kind of enclosed it in the more I thought potentially we could look at this as more of a, a house that it was built a while ago and might now actually be considered kind of more abandoned so I start doing a little bit of the plants, but we'll come back a little bit later, I think, because they, I go a bit more with them, <laughs> to put it bluntly. Um, a lot of this build is me playing around with kind of positioning of plants and kind of building up the grass to look like um, it hasn't necessarily been maintained over a number of years. Um, so that's kind of what I'm looking at at the moment. Uh, so put some stuff into the garden area again i wanted to make it look like it had been lived in and then it's kind of been quite quickly abandoned i would imagine so i've got a couple of bits and pieces around the back here if anyone is wondering i think you'll see it in different shots um i'm using the better build and buy mod for a lot of this because i do go in to get some debug items out later specifically um, um, it's by Twi Twisted Mexi I would recommend it is amazing I think I managed to hold off doing any custom content on this build I've been trying to be a bit careful about doing that with these speed builds but I think I'm going to have to soon download a bunch of CC and do a, 
a custom content house i think it's going to have to be the way of things um just because custom content is incredible and i would like to use a lot more of it <laughs> so i tried to put these ivy bits on the side and they are a very specific shape. I don't entirely know where they would work, but they don't work here. Um, and then I'm just climbing up some ivy along the sides. The problem with the foundation is it kind of makes it look like it's growing out of the foundation. So I think later I add in some plants around the bottom of that area to make it look like it's at least growing out of something. Because otherwise it just genuinely does look like <laughs> the wall itself has just started sprouting, which is a bit weird. So I'm adding in some hedges using kind of that foundation lip if you've ever used foundations in the sims you'll know that they kind of don't allow you to put things in the right place if you get close to the foundation it throws it up so i'm kind of adding a bit to that and again just going completely ham with the ivy when i was done with this as well i could i put it up on the gallery and i've hashtagged it um if anyone watches devon bumpkin um he does a series where he kind of fixes up and uh, renovates these houses so I've tagged it to him as something that he could maybe look at if he wants to do I might also um, I might potentially do a little renovation of it myself I think it's a very interesting shape house the upstairs um, is actually very very small it's a very very small house but I don't even know if it counts as like a tiny house I might go back and see how many tiles it actually is. I think it might be just too big to inc to be included in any of the tiny house kind of things. But so this is what I said earlier about going onto the porch and adding kind of the the rocking chairs. And I found these little lights that loop perfectly over the fence. Don't ask me how in real life that would work. Um, <laughs> I feel like that would be an absolute pain in the ass to install. Um, and to keep them to sort of stay upright in that particular ground, but it's fine. I also added some leaves in. Again, it doesn't necessarily make huge amounts of sense as to why a lot of the leaves would be out there on the porch, but what I kind of wanted is the idea that maybe someone was trying to maintain it and it didn't necessarily work too well, or there's just been like huge storms and just there's things everywhere. So I've put in like some stones on the, on the ground, and I've also started building in some greenery to be kind of growing out of the wood. So I'm fixing it up a little bit inside, but later on there will be some bits that I intentionally add to make it look like the wood itself wasn't necessarily perfectly done when it was built. And like the idea that there's a little bit of um, ground sort of growing through the wood so that if you do come and renovate it, you can start kind of clearing that away. So it's not normal for me to use lights that are that yellow, that warm. Usually I do pick uh, mainly the saucer lights, if I'm honest, but I'm trying to branch out a little bit. And I kind of like the idea that it's got kind of a very warm light feel in there. So I think later on we remove those as well <laughs> to make it look a little bit more um, dark and sort of cosy and abandoned at this point. I understand that cosy and abandoned doesn't sound, sound like it makes a lot of sense, but... I think that's the vibe I was going for. Um, I'm adding in loads of books on the corner. I've got this image in my head of the original owner um, who built this house and built it uh, to live in and just absolutely went completely hermit as soon as he'd built it. He realised he didn't need as much like outside help once he could build something like this on his own. So I've kind of got the idea that he kind of built it all up and then just started living here and sort of doing nothing else. I then started building this stuff under the stairs. So I had this image in my head as well of kind of, not a hoarder, because it just doesn't look like a enough necessarily to be counted as that. But just like collecting things over the years. So it's like a toy box from when he used to maybe hang out with his nieces and nephews um, when they were very young and I start adding more unusual things under there like I've got a little lamp thing <laughs> I like the idea that if anything in the community was going um, for sale or abandoned if anyone was basically building up the area and getting rid of anything old that he would kind of make the point to go and try and sort of salvage it and bring it into his house so as I said I've got some plants growing out of the floor there so that's the idea that the wood itself has not been treated properly or there's kind of something under the foundation that's growing 
Um, and this is where I'm going to start building up a little kitchen area. I gave him a sword because everyone needs a sword. And I just go through debug and I find a load of random things that I then want to kind of put in the house. I've got these kind of those little chairs that look like they've been handmade. Um, later on, I add some more kind of wood effects around the house to make it look like maybe he was kind of working on something before he abandoned this. So I couldn't find in the debug, there is a broken fridge and, uh, f and oven, but I couldn't find it. So we've just gone with a slightly grotty looking and we've added in some sort of glasses around, just random kind of bits and bobs. Um, I, th I leave some glasses just random places around the house. <laughs> so if you do come renovate this, you're going to have to go really looking for those little things that I've just left in little areas. <clears throat> So we get a little dining table in. I've I've got the idea that there are multiple chairs. He didn't necessarily have two people here, but they're kind of mix matched um, from potentially like a house he lived in before. And then just adding on more debug things, and then starting like a what would be like a little living room area. Um, and again, making sure that there's plants growing out of everywhere. <coughs> so I've got sort of a little planter thing and then the ivy is just basically growing out of it to like imply that the plants themselves inside overgrew a little bit um, and this is where I start adding some wood stuff in so it's like driftwood parts um, I think I gave up on the fish um, there's some driftwood and stuff so I've got this kind of idea that he would go over to like Solani and bring back bits of wood that he could start making into crafts so they're kind of just dotted around the house um, and then I found the trash in the debug, so I thought, ah, we'll just put some trash down. Make it look like somebody has made an attempt to come in and clean this up, maybe. Um, maybe we're in the process of trying to fix it. If you do download this in the uh, description, I've kind of given a little bit of backstory for who I think was trying to take this over. So I've got this image in my head of, like, um, the man's, like, niece coming in and having also been like a carpenter and like the family are basically trying to find a way to sell this house off and she's like no I will come in I will fix it obviously the ground needs to be actually fixed the plants are growing through it <laughs> but like her and her partner are like we'll take it on we'll make it our responsibility and see if we can make this more of a, a sort of family house and kind of what it what the intention was for it before uh, the uncle built it and then kind of started sort of isolating himself from the family. This is where I had a great amount of fun adding in lots of little bits on the walls. So you'll find all these sort of holes and scratches um, from the vampire pack. So I'm just putting loads of that everywhere. <laughs> this is one of my favourite things to do if I'm doing a build that is intended to like look a little bit like downtrodden. Lots of spider webs everywhere, particularly on the bookcases because they would be absolutely covered in spider webs and dust. Putting them absolutely everywhere. Had a great time putting them all down. I don't know why I enjoy that so much. Um, and on the other side, I really enjoy getting rid of all that stuff. So when I do renovate it, I'm going to have a lot of fun doing that. So upstairs, we've got a very, very sh weird shaped room because I had so much struggle with the roofing. I could have made this bigger, but I kind of liked the restriction by the time I got to this point. Um, I fight a little bit with the ivy again, but I kind of like the idea that it was intended to be like a, just big enough for a double bed, but because the Sims won't actually use it right, if I put it up here, we've kind of gone to a single bed, but in, in my mind, I'm thinking that it could fit a double bed up there. Um, kind of almost like a loft situation, but not. And this is where I start adding in all the little bits and pieces that he might have picked up and kind of tried to save from people and hoard. So I've got some little vases and a sundial. I've got the idea that like the bit out the front where <clears throat> there's a bit out the front where there's like a dog with like a butterfly and I like the idea that maybe before that there was another kind of monument thing and they were ripping it up to put one in and he couldn't let go of that sundial and he's taking it in. Um, so this is also where I start playing with the lighting. So I start swapping out like the big overhead lights for like these little off-grid candle lights um, and then we're just going to go ham on everything in terms of... So I put in those uh, little swing set to kind of imply that when he was kind of 
sort of hanging out with the family. Maybe the nieces and nephews came round. There's obviously a toy box. There's the swing set. I can imagine them loving a house like this and kind of it's sort of a little creepy vibe to it. Um, and then I put those blinds and shutters up where I can. The one on the door was kind of struggling with a bit to kind of make it look like he's completely shut out the world. And then I realised, probably after I turned it off, that I didn't uh, put in a bathroom. So we're going to very quickly put in a very, very basic bathroom in here. Um, and then I am going to leave you all with the uh, little video section at the end to show you it all off. But thank you all so much for watching. I'm hoping to do a renovation of this soon um, and to bring you some more builds soon. So I hope you are doing very well and I will see you in the next video.